Hello and welcome to my business tips and money saving advice channel. This one is a honest review on not only the Landmark Forum but also Landmark Education as a whole and it really answers the question, should you consider doing the Landmark Forum yourself? Before I jump in, I just want to acknowledge one small thing and I, I realise that Landmark Forum and, and Landmark Education really deals with personal development and I'm including it on a business tips channel. The reason why I'm doing that is that it has caused profound results for me in the area of business. Now, the other thing I, I do want to acknowledge as well is that it's not all rosy. I, I, I've, I've done a lot of stuff with Landmark Education, but this isn't just me going to be blowing smoke up their pipe hole. That there are a lot of great things that I got um, over the, the, the years and, and over the, the, the courses that I did with Landmark but that there are some inherent things that just don't work for me at all in any way, shape or form with the way that Landmark Education operates. And um, it's, it's really the reason why I don't participate in any of their courses anymore. So let's take it back right to the very beginning. So I did the original Landmark Forum way back now in 2002. Um, at the time, I lacked any real direction, any real purpose. I um, was doing a degree because I thought that was the kind of thing that I had to do. You know, you, you, know, you get good grades at school, you go to college, you go to uni, and then you get a job that you work in for X number of years, and then you retire and die. I was just following that old pattern. So I, I went on the course, not really kind of expecting anything. And the reason why I went on the course in the first place is that I saw a massive shift in how my brother related to me, me and my brother, we never got on, and um, he he gave me a call after he did the course, and he, he talked to me for the first time in my life like an actual human being. Got me curious, I had a little bit of spare cash, so uh, there you go. And I went into, I remember going into this room, there were maybe a hundred other people in the room, and there was this one guy called David Yor, he, he went up on stage and he was leading the, the, the weekend. And it was spread over a Friday and a Saturday and a, a Sunday. And then there was a, uh, what they called a graduation evening, I think on um, a Tuesday night. And um, I, I think it was probably one of, if not the most profound experience in my entire life. I'll be yeah, very honest about that up front. And I got many different things from that course that I, I totally didn't expect. And one of the major things I, I didn't expect was... Um, my relationship with my mum, it wasn't great, it really wasn't great and um, I, I got kicked out of home at the age of 18 um, by her, her partner and I had a lot of resentment and there was a lot of anger there and I was, I was pretty much ready to cut her out of my life and one of the things that I was able to do was let go of all that resentment, let go of that anger, just really kind of understand actually you know, why they wanted me out of the house. I was 18, you know, I was... Um, a bit of a brat as well. I, I wasn't great to be around um, back then. And, um, you know, I get it. I, I, I understood why. And I was able to let go of that resentment by, by doing the course. And I, I can definitely say hand on heart that by doing that, I've had you know, my mum in, in my life for the past uh, what 20, 20 years. Whereas if I continued on the path that I was going on, I really wouldn't have had that. I really wouldn't have had that. I probably would have written off her, or would have written off you know, my mum's side of the family, um, and and that would have been that. I think the other thing that I got clear of, uh, that I got clear on, uh, as well as a result of doing more courses through Landmark Education, was what I really wanted to do in life, and um, it really kind of gave me the access to uh, achieve some you know, pretty great results, and. It led to me um, getting really clear that I'm quite passionate about entertainment and, and comedy and throughout the years I've done presenting, I've done some comedy projects and it also had me really kind of get into quite an entrepreneurial spirit and I've, I've built and sold five businesses um, over the past, uh, how many years? 
God, I feel old when I'm, when I'm thinking about years. But over the past 14 years or so, I've, like I say, I've built and sold five businesses. Now, I don't think any of those achievements would have been possible without me doing the courses that I did through Landmark Education. And um, aside from Landmark Forum, there was the advanced course. There was the self-expression and leadership program. I coached on that program. Um, there were communication courses, access to power, power to create. There was the team management leadership program one, a team management leadership program two and numerous seminars throughout the years. Now, I'm not saying that you need to do the course to have a great life. And I'm not saying as well that um, doing the course will give you a, a great life, not at all. You know, I've had friends do the course, come off it. Um, they were on the high for a few days and then the effects just kind of wore off and they went back to their you know, their, their, their normal lives without really taking anything big on. I think one of the things to acknowledge with any self-development course is that different things work for different people. Different courses work for different people. So whereas one person might not get anything from doing the Landmark Forum or for a literal results, they might get the whole lives from doing something with Tony Robbins. Someone else might get their entire life out of doing the Landmark Forum, um, but you know, they might get nothing from Tony or, or, or Mill Robbins. And that leads me on to a big question. Did I get my life out of doing the Landmark Forum and by staying in Landmark Education courses for the time that I stayed in them? I would say mostly yes, probably. And the reason why I say that is I, I know that the course that I was on before was one which had no vision, had no real ambition, there were no real goals, there was, um, there was no real passion. I was just following a set pattern. I, I also know that there are some pretty big relationships that I would have destroyed and there are many relationships I wouldn't have had if it wasn't for the result of what I got from doing work around Landmark Education and, and the original Landmark Forum and all the other courses. So, did I get my life from it? Yeah, mostly. Now my hesitation there is based around a couple of main things. And the first thing is that there were a couple of big things that I wanted to achieve throughout my time with Landmark Education in my personal life. And I didn't achieve them. And it's, it's quite tricky looking back to think that I didn't achieve one or two big goals and one or two big games that I was playing over such a long time. And when I think about the amount of time that I actually dedicated to Landmark Education, it's not just the courses, there's something called assisting, where basically you, you, you go into the office to help, you go into the office to help and you don't get paid. And the whole idea is that you work alongside very empowered people and powerful people and you kind of create games uh, and, and goals for yourself with what you do around their offices and then you get stuff from that. And I just kind of, I feel like I wasted a lot of time, a lot of time assisting. And I'm not saying that that's the main reason why I didn't achieve or didn't win a couple of games that I was playing. But I, I, I think it, it probably didn't help that much. And I think the other thing as well is that if I'm being perfectly honest, I kind of feel like I got in too deep. I kind of feel like I got in too deep with um, some of the more senior courses. And I think with the senior courses, there's uh, a course in particular, oh, I hated this one, called the Introduction Leaders Program. My skin just crawls, even when I say that. And what, what the program basically is, is that if you want to lead seminars and lead programs for Landmark Education, you need to do the Introduction Leaders Program, which is a six month program. And I originally went on to this program, and this must have been, God, 2004, I think, maybe 2003? I'm not sure if I get my years right here, but it was a long time ago. I went on the program. I, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to you know, lead seminars or anything uh, around Landmark. I wasn't completely sure. But they also kind of sold the course by saying that you'll get you know, amazing leadership skills and it'll really help you forward everything in your own life. 
And I was like, well, that sounds pretty good. I've had a pretty good time with all your other courses. Let's let's give that a go. Let's let's see what happens there. And um, I think it was probably it was one of the worst periods of my life, really. When I look back, it was just a, a, a really terrible course. And I think one thing, there were a couple of things that made it in particular really bad for me. One thing was that um, the, the whole conversation about you getting results in your own life went out the window. It really went out the window very, very quick on that course. And it very quickly became all about leading courses for landmark education. Um, and, and doing stuff for landmark education and and leading introductions as well and, and kind of traveling up and down the country at your own expense um, to, to do that and, and spread the word of landmark and one conversation I had with my, my coach that I'll never forget um, and it was at a point where I really wanted to leave the course I really really wanted to leave I, I knew it just wasn't for me I wasn't enjoying it um, I hated it actually, I really hated it. And the conversation went something like, have, she basically said to me, have a breakthrough in doing something you don't like. Now, look, I was in my early 20s. Um, I had a lot of faith and trust in Landmark up until that point. Uh, I achieved some amazing results on, on their courses that I'd done. So do you know what? Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, maybe there is something in that. Maybe I could have a breakthrough in doing something that I don't really want to do. That kind of makes sense. So I stayed on the course. I stayed on the course until the end. And um, I think, you know, just to kind of put it into context, how, how I, what, what I got from the course. So I remember like standing on stage at the beginning and telling everyone who I was and what I was up for and the game I was playing. And I remember being like really kind of powerful and confident and um, yeah, just kind of, yeah, really kind of engaging as well. And then I remember Right at the end of the course, you do something similar where you also stand up on stage and you say what you got from from your time on the course. And I just remember standing up, my, my head, my, my, my body posture very different. Um, there's a lack of confidence, there's kind of more kind of shoulders in, looking down. I might have even been shaking a bit. And I was just something like, yeah, I, I said something like, well, my, my head's been up my bum for the last few months and I haven't really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you and good night. And that was it. And that was my time on the Introduction Leaders Programme and I, I think it really leads to what I was saying at the start of the video about um, one of the big problems with Landmark Education and, and the way that they, uh, one of their main approaches, which is the encouragement to get people to find out about the Landmark Forum by word of mouth. So. In whatever course you do with Landmark Forum, there will always be guest conversations. Conversations for inviting your friends and family members to find out about the Landmark Forum. And I, I guess when I first started, and again this is the early noughties, and I was doing stuff back then, um, it, it was, they, they had more of a position of, you go out in the world and you cause great results, and People will see the great results that you are that you're doing, and they'll probably ask you about you know how how you've achieved those results, and at the same time, you know if if you kind of feel like you want to pass on the type of results that you've got to other people, um, or, or give other people the access to the results that you've got, invite them along, and I was I was really up for that. You know I was I was causing some really great things at the time. And, and I, I thought that was, that kind of made sense to me. You know, you, you, you get lots of value by doing a course. You want other people that you care about to get the same type of value. So yeah, of course, you're gonna share that course freely with them. You're gonna, you probably want them to, to do it. But what I saw gradually over over the years that I, I participated in Landmark was a, a shift. The focus really shifted from supporting its participants to get amazing results in their lives to much more of a focus to making sure that the participants invite more people. And I, I think that really is why I don't participate in landmark education programs any longer. My la The last one that I did was um, last year. It was an online seminar, online because of the whole COVID thing. I mean, normally it's, it's in person, normal times. Um, but the guest, the guest conversation, what, what I found really dominated 
almost half, almost half of the online seminar. And it wasn't just about the, 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 the guest conversations, like bringing along new people to find out about Landmark, but there were also like these kind of ad breaks as well, where they talked about other courses. And it's like, well, okay, but I get you do lots of other courses, but I'm here for a seminar now. I'm, I'm here because there's certain results I want to achieve in my, my, my own life. So you know, let's give me that value first. Support me to get those results in my life, and then absolutely, 100%, I'll be happy to share with people once I get those results and once I start achieving. Because I, I want to share because it's authentic, and it's um, it's it's coming from a much better place, you know. Because I'm I, I'd be inspired to share with people in that kind of kind of circumstance. Just saying, yeah, Landmark's brilliant. Landmark's great. Go off and share it just because it'll be great for lots of people to do it. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, it would, but uh, you know, let's kind of get the results, let's cause the results for your participants first so that they actually really genuinely inspired to go out there and, and cause great results. And as a result of that, there'll be a knock-on effect because um, if they get great results, they're gonna want other people in their own lives to get great results. And then they'll invite people to come along, do the course, and you'll have more people doing the courses. So moving on to the big question, which isn't why is that light starting to flicker in quite an odd way, but it is, should you consider doing the Landmark Forum? I would say it's definitely worth considering. Look, there's the flicker. It's definitely worth considering. At the end of the day, it's, I, I just checked um, the, uh, the UK course. I mean, it's run, all across the world. It's £580, which, okay, that sounds like a lot, but that's a full weekend. And then that's 10 seminars as well. That's 10 seminar sessions. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, when you kind of compare that to the cost of other self-development self uh, self-development courses, that's not a great deal of money when you consider that Tony Robbins, um, I think, I, I'm, I'm I can't quite remember the the name of the, uh, the the weekend course that he runs, but just that course alone, I think it's about a grand to get in. And that's, I think, for a basic seat. I'm sure people are going to correct me down there in the, the comments. Um, so when you look at value for money in the world of self-development, I think you really can't get much better and your money really can't go much further than investing in something like the Landmark Forum. And I am sure you will get really great results from doing it. You just really need to go in with an open mind. That's one of the main things. There's lots of negative stuff out there um, which really bash the early courses. And I would say at least go in to make your own mind up. And look, I tell you what, if you do the course, you don't like it, they're pretty easy and, and, and fast and free of their refunds. You could quite easily do the course. And if you don't like it, you can knock on their door the day after and ask for a refund and they'll cough up. I've, I've seen it happen many times. And there is a big but. There's a big, big but, don't lie. There is a big but with me saying that. And that big but is just be careful. Just be careful. You can have too much of a good thing and you can get in too deep. And there is potential. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm just saying it's... A, a potential pitfall that you can kind of lose yourself with some of the senior courses and your main life purpose and, and goals it, it can kind of it can switch to landmarks purpose and landmarks goals and what they're out to achieve and you can really f forget quite easily about yourself and what your own purpose is and what you're about what you're up to so do the course be careful, be mindful, and hopefully you'll get some amazing results. And if you do go on to doing the Landmark Forum after watching this video, despite my weird blinking light in the in the back, if you're still watching this, it's blinking again. Um, please do like the video, leave me a comment below, let me know how it goes. Please share the results in the comments. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.